side, Luke Milliken, a grad transfer from South Lake, Texas, had 10 saves against Duke, and we are underway here. Opening faceoff. Alex Stathakis comes out of the pile with it. He's putting that past Thompson. Another win for the Pioneers. Matthew Marino. Oh, just takes it right down the middle. That's a great shot, great placement. That first midfield line last week, Brad, against Duke was one for 21 shooting, which just has to be better. So I love seeing that that first take that um, Teddy Sullivan has, sticks it, puts it right in the back of the net. The Dolphins finally come away with that. Just an incredible individual effort from Winston, taking it himself. Jeremy Winston, 50 year senior from Dallas, Texas. Fifth goal of the season already for Winston, the midfielder. And here comes the Dolphins again. Advantage, then all you really did is just flipping it by Thompson. Waldbaum's 17th goal of the season already. He's been doing it against everybody. Came in into this weekend, second in the country in scoring. Simmons thought about Coach Galloway, went to Syracuse, goalie, and his team has reflected that tough mentality and, like you said, Eric, a lot of weapons. It's just that quick release. You can tell he doesn't have a huge, a lot of whip in his pocket. He just whips that stick, uses those wrists, changes angles. Now let's see if that can get Jack Hanna going and that offense going. You can see that huge fist pump after that goal. Let's see. Now they've got the lead over the Pioneers. Here in Denver, Eric Law alongside Brad Thompson here for this one, 4-2 after the first quarter. Stathik has had a shot at it, got knocked away. Silstrop lost his stick, got knocked away. Blunder right there, that just can't happen from two defensive midfielders. Nathan Cap and Alex Stathikis and Cap that time coming out with it, had it knocked away. Casey Wilson took a big shot, still able to hold. Again, that is a great individual play by Teddy Sullivan, but it can't go unnoticed that that whole play was set up because Jack Hanna and Riley Curtis got their guys out of the way to create some space that Teddy Sullivan could work one-on-one. -on -one. Sullivan, second goal of the game. What a catch, even as impressive on that play for Edinger, the catch. Officials coming together on this face-off. Is that screen, and there's no chance Milliken's making that save. Almost lulled him to sleep there a little bit. Got the bump off the Jacksonville player and, and fired that one second of the game for Jack Hanna. He's now up to five on the season. This ball loose at midfield. Silstrap able to come up with that ground ball. If that ball doesn't go in the back of the net. Well, and he tried one earlier in the game, and he did, it didn't work out. And to go twice and not have it happen is a big gamble. shot. Griner's second of the game, 14th of the season. And preseason all SoCon team selection, so not unsurprising that that's where the scoring is coming from. No, and you're, if you're a DU defenseman and that's the guy that you're supposed to be covering, you got to know that he's going to be shooting that ball, so you've got to be ready and be on his step. Great. And on the defensive side, again, for DU, you got to make sure you constantly know where he is and make sure you have a stick in his hands as he's catching that ball. He's not going to beat you off the dodge, so make him be a feeder. And I talked about it just a few minutes ago. What would be the response for Jacksonville as Denver took the lead? Oh, starts with a great over the top, using a screen once again. If you're Jacksonville, you got to be start feeding him the ball because he's feeling it right now. And for DU, you got to clear the ball. One of the keys of the game. Back down to the bottom right, and I'm glad the ref is on the spot there and sees it that it clearly hits the bottom right part of that net. Wilson with the check there, sending Nathan Cap down, the redshirt sophomore. And that's the middle of the field. Griner just taking over right now. Jack Dolan with that incredible feed.
from Ambler, Pennsylvania into the scoring column. Cap had a shot at that one. Stathic is trying to stay in bounds, throws it back in. Let's see the call. Coach Calloway going out of his mind over there on the far side. The play happened right in front of him. Both coaches on the field right now want an explanation. Faceoffs very even, 11 10. And we've got a hold. Does an excellent job of changing those planes, throws a little bouncer to the off stick side of Milliken. Now let's see if we can get something going here. This is a huge faceoff, going to be a huge ground ball. We've got to pick this up and clear it. Tebendeno had a shot at it, but it's the Dolphins that end up with it. Six minutes. That Milliken's probably going to want back. Fourth goal of the game for Hannon. He only had three coming in, and now the all-important faceoff, and Stathic is able to win it. Hannah's got it back in his stick. Got the opportunity. He's going to fire again. That 